Tomas Hermes, Timothy Viso, Steven Pearson, Kuakai Rothman. We've got an international super heat here. Vance Triple Crown of Surfing is off and running. This is Makua Kai Rothman going to the air. We know what he can do in 50 to 60 foot waves, so it's nice to kind of see a little bit of flair coming from Makua. This is Tomas Hermes. This guy is right on the cusp of qualification and it's turns and airs like that that make him consistent. Well, I'll take it. He's had some experience on the championship tour this year, being a replacement surfer. He has had, uh, I think, three or four events where he's been able to compete at that top level. So he's been gaining confidence. I think uh, all it to be, you know, 10 to 15 feet, but it's not, and he's still psyched. Here's our first look at Timothy Biso, surfer from Francois Guadeloupe Island. Goofy footer, and uh, he currently so with 21 minutes 20 seconds to go. Tomas Hermes is in red, Timothy Biso in white, Skello, Makua Kai Rothman will be in blue, scores are coming in. Now we're going to do a look at Pearson on his back end, powerful surfer, he's a big guy too, and if he can uh, put together a couple turns that I've seen him do in all here with you today, if you're going to... Uh, Hope to make it through some of these heats. Here goes Tomas Hermes splitting the peak with Pearson. And look at that. Dose of the air, the big tail whip, three, pulls it down with ease. Nice big one maneuver wave there, trying to back up his first original score. And then Pearson on the backhand, the big snap, and then vertical up, up through the roof, two nice turns. So, you know, two different types of wave. You got a little bit of the flair or the criteria a lot lately, but uh, speed power flow being used by Pearson, and a little bit of uh, innovation and flair from Tomas Hermes. All right, with 19 minutes, 40 seconds to go, our not getting the results I want and try to, like the year before those two years, I was so close and just having kind of a couple rough years kind of puts yourself down a little bit, but I want to keep my head up. I'm happy and I'm hoping I do really good here, finish strong at the end of the year. And if I win this contest, you never know what happens, like what Dusty did, one of my best friends. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. That's right, it is possible. So we're going to see more of Granger Larson. Congratulations, Granger. And back up to you guys in the booth. You, you uh, got to take take whatever you can get throughout the year and muster everything back up. Every every con to look at this wave with priority. Oh, darn it. So he had a dig right there. Now, Pete, yeah. the judges have to look at each paddle closely, right? To Timothy Biso, he's going to take this wave and give priority back to Makua Kai Rothman as we watch Biso on the back end. Biso, a couple... Big snap, she's shipper from Guadalupe. As well as the junior tour, he still sits in that age group. I mean, I think he's actually probably graduated at this point for this year now that we're down to 18. But, um, you know, so he's gained a lot of experience on the WSL. And uh, that happens. And it's, it's very, you know, especially here on the North Shore. First look at Biso's forehand. Going vertical on a couple turns. And you know, here's that kind of tricky way of just running away from him. It looked like he almost was coiling up for a possible air attempt on that inside section but oh, you look at this replay here and this is running away from you talk about it where the lip is actually going away which makes it a little bit harder to uh, to really turn and arc your board so you had to kind of tap it and run down the line with it and use the energy pretty air for Pearson sure, from Tahiti and here we go McCool Kai Rothman needs a 7-1-7 rolls into this one big section in front of him BAM nails that Frontside snap, kind of backs it up with a nice backside foam climb. So just like that, with eight minutes, 30 seconds to go. Total, it's given him a better position now to be able to, to make that transition and get himself into that second spot. All right, Hermes out the back with priority, and that was Pearson holding off Timothy Biso. Well, Tapuna is the, the wave. one wave that they only thought when back in the day. They thought that was, just watch the replay here. So it's a bigger wave. You know, the wave shuts down on him, but he hammers that section and then actually gets the reverse back and floats the whitewater there and gets the 3.4. Again, uh, his best wave so far. This is Biso, surfer in white. Third place, he needs a 4.68. A couple of nice snaps out the back. Finishes a solid backside hook. So fitting three turns into a really short section. Biso, and right behind him, current leader, Hermes, in red, quick surfing. So I'm coiling up right there, blasted out a little too hard. Heat, and he get, left the door open, and Biso was able to capitalize. Wow, Steven Pearson, a crucial wave for him, and he had it taken him from second to third. We'll see if he can fight back. He needs a 6.4. 
And he's been looking at these laps, and so far, they just have not paid off. Wow. Biso now. His last wave comes in. A 6-8-3. Jumps into the lead. Waves. <laughs> All right. Well, Heat 2 is done. Timothy Biso and Tomas Hermes unofficially advancing through.